I mean, forget about that, that you were backing up Brett Favre on that team that beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Well, it was it was tough for me to to go up there. I, I probably should have went up there two or three years prior because I knew they were going to have a good football team. But I just couldn't bring myself to, to go up there and put on that green and gold because we had a lot of bad blood for the seven years I was in Chicago. A lot of bad blood. It, it got ugly, our games, uh, in Green Bay and in Chicago. So uh, the re- how I got there, in 95, the start of 95, I was with the Cleveland Browns. Bill Belichick was our head coach, and uh, he, had, he had screwed me over in training camp. And so I'm, I'm finally I'm dressed. I think it's about week 10. We're playing the Packers in Cleveland. So I'm in my Cleveland Browns uniform. Andy's in his Green Bay stuff. We're playing catch on the 50-yard line pregame, just BSing. And he said, oh, you should have came here this year. We got a good team. I said, I know. I screwed up. But don't be surprised if I'm available. And he's like, what? I said, just check the waiver wire soon. So the very next day, I'm in the uh, I'm in the quarterback meeting watching the game film. I get up to go to the restroom, and here comes the general manager that has been giving me the runaround for ten weeks about my paychecks because they did a deal with me under the table and then they they just didn't pay. Huh. And so anyway, I said I need my money, and he said, "Well, maybe we'll pay, maybe we won't." And I, I lost it on the guy, I grabbed him, I started hitting his head on the wall. I'm like, "You're gonna pay me my money." And then I realized what I was doing, but I started, I looked around and back then, this is before they had cameras, you know, in every, every corner of the, everywhere. And so I walked right into the training room, called my attorney and said, get me cut right now. And he says, what? And I said, just get me cut. Here's the number. He calls me back within two minutes. He said, all right, they'll release you if that's what you want. I said, perfect. So I walked back into the QB meeting meeting now. It just all took about 10 minutes. And I just said, Hey boys, I'll see y'all later. And they go, what, where are you going? I said, I'm out of here. And the QB coach had it. Have you talked to Bill? I said, you can tell Bill to kiss my <laughs> at line. I'm gone. I walked out. Uh, that was a Monday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon, I was up in Green Bay. 